Hi, this is The Business Guy. So how do you put assets into a trust? I've personally drafted thousands of trusts over the 32 years I've been in the business, and having a trust does little good unless it actually holds the assets that it is meant to protect or the assets you intend to transfer to your loved ones after your passing. So in order for a trust to work, you have to fund the trust. And funding a trust means your assets are transferred into the trust and are officially owned by the trust slash trustee so the trust can function as as you intended it to. So how do you do that? We'll talk about how to title the assets properly on the documents. We'll talk about how to transfer real estate, such as your personal residence, into a trust, bank accounts, vehicles, personal property, such as jewelry, antiques, and things that don't have titles. We'll also talk about things you cannot put into a trust. And finally, what about the items you forgot to put into a trust? What happens to those? We'll tell you. And if you appreciate this information, please click the like button so YouTube promotes this video. Many thanks. And so I can see you again. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't already so that when more videos come out like this, you'll be up to date right away. And if you want to set up a trust or you have questions, visit us at assetprotectionplanners.com and you get a lot more free information there. Changing ownership of a trust. When you transfer assets to a trust, you're changing the legal ownership of the asset. In most cases, you transfer the assets from your name to that of the trust. And most people who have us create a living trust name themselves as the trustee. And if you are also the initial beneficiary of the trust, you will still generally be able to use the trust assets, but the trust slash trustee will Will technically own the assets. Now to get started, you'll want to make a complete list of the assets that you want to transfer into the trust so that you're sure you don't leave anything out. Now first, let's talk about how to hold title. Now to change the title, you need to put both the name of the trust and the name of the trustee on the title. You can name the trust first or the trustee first. The order really doesn't matter in most cases. I like to name the trust first for privacy purposes because some of the public records displays only hold so many characters and the name of the trustee may not be so easy to find online. So here are some examples of how to hold title. The John and Mary Smith Revocable Living Trust, comma, John and Mary Smith, comma, trustees. Fred and Sally Williams, comma, trustees of the Fred and Sally Williams Revocable Living Trust. We also set up land trusts for privacy. So we'll often set up a Wyoming LLC to serve as trustee and title a property like this. 123 Main Street Trust, comma, ABC Holdings, comma, LLC, and then in parentheses, Wyoming, comma, trustee. Now notice in all cases, we named both the trust and the trustee and clearly stated that the person or company is holding the assets in his or her or its capacity as trustee and not individually. And when we name a company as trustee, you want to make sure to include Include the jurisdiction where that company was formed. Transferring real estate to a trust. One of the most valuable assets most people own is their home. So this is an asset you'll likely want to transfer into your living trust. Now you can transfer your home or any other real property to a trust with a deed, a document that transfers ownership to the trust. Now a quit claim deed is the most simple method and one of the most commonly used between related parties, such as a person and his or her living trust. So if you don't care about the trust protecting your privacy, the quit claim deed is a good choice. But it does tell the world that this deed is most likely being used to transfer the title between related parties. Alternatively, a warranty deed ensures you have good title when you transfer it and may make it easier for your trust beneficiaries to sell the home down the line. Now you can check with an attorney about which type of deed is best in your situation or anything else here for that matter because none of this is legal advice for any individual, just helpful information. A few states require that all deeds be prepared by attorneys so you may not have self-help options in some cases. Once a deed deed form is prepared, a real estate deed must be filed in the county where the property is located and you may need to pay a filing fee. A deed transfer into a trust should not affect your mortgage even if it has a due on sale clause. In fact, the Garn St. Germain Depository Institutions Act of 1982 says that you can transfer one to four dwelling units into an inter vivos trust, such as the living trusts and land trusts that we create. The bank cannot by law call the loan due. So this is a single family home, duplex, triplex, or fourplex that people actually live in. The owner of the house, that is the mortgage holder, must be a beneficiary of the trust. You should inform your homeowner's insurance company just so that they are aware that you have transferred title. And then once the deed is transferred, you may need to change your homeowner's insurance to indicate the trust is the owner of the property. 
If you receive a real estate tax exemption, you want to make sure that it is properly applied by showing documentation of the trust to the taxing authority, such as a certificate of trust, a document that summarizes the information in the trust. Transferring bank accounts to a trust. To transfer assets such as investments, bank accounts, or stock into a trust, you'll need to contact the institution and complete a form. You'll likely need to provide a certificate of the trust as well. Now, once you fill out the form, just sit back, relax, and let them do the rest. You may want to put your personal checking and savings account into the trust as well. Transferring vehicles into a trust. Now, each state is different, but you'll usually need to contact the DMV. You should also contact your insurance company and be sure they will continue coverage once you transfer the car into the trust. Now, we set up a lot of title holding trusts for vehicles so people can own their cars privately. Again, we'll often set up a Wyoming LLC to serve as the trustee because of the privacy, protection, and low cost in Wyoming. Now, to transfer ownership, you'll need to obtain a title change form from your DMV and complete it, naming the trustee as trustee of your trust as a new owner. Sales tax should not apply to the transfer, and if the clerk tries to apply it, you'll need to speak to a supervisor. If you own a boat, you'll usually need to follow similar procedures to transfer the title, and if it's a Coast Guard registered vessel, you'll contact the Coast Guard's National Vessel Documentation Center. Transferring personal property to a trust. Now, you'll likely own many things that don't have actual written titles or ownership ownership documents, such as jewelry, furniture, collectibles, and the miscellaneous things that fill your home. To place them into the trust, you can name them in your trust document on a property schedule. Basically, you just attach it to the trust document, and the trust document refers to this particular schedule that lists the property, and you indicate their ownership as being transferred into the trust. Now, if any of these items are insured, be sure to contact the insurance company and transfer the insurance to the name of the trust as well. Now, what cannot be placed into a trust. Now, there are some things that cannot or should not be placed into your trust. Individual retirement accounts or IRAs cannot be owned by a trust, so these must remain in your own name. But you can contact your IRA custodian and name the trust as the primary or secondary beneficiary of your IRA. Trusts are often named as beneficiaries of life insurance policies, and it's a good idea to talk to an accountant to understand any tax implications of doing so. Now, if you purchase or inherit items after you create the trust, you may want to transfer those items into the trust as soon as possible. And if possible, when you purchase items, purchase them as the trustee of the trust so they are automatically placed into the trust. Now, here's a big one. Consider a pour-over will. To further protect yourself, you want a pour-over will. Now, when we set up living trusts, our in-house attorneys generally create a last will and testament, which will indicate that any items left in your name are transferred to the trust upon your death so that your trust will be complete and provide all the benefits created for you. Now, keep in mind that a trust is merely a contract that can be drafted however the person who wrote it wants the words to be arranged on the pages. Now, there are trusts for estate planning so that when you die, those you care about get your assets. There are trusts that can protect your assets from lawsuits, protect your privacy, or care for the needs of future generations. And in order to take advantage of the advantages, you will need to title the assets into the trust. So double check your list of assets to be certain you have moved them into the trust. So ensuring your trust is properly funded will provide you with the protection you seek and the peace of mind that your affairs are in order. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. See you next time. This is The Business Guy.